In this session, we will explore the period over period analysis concept in advanced analytics. This is the comparison of a user defined metric from one period to another. It is commonly used in some of the dashboards in the Netscope library to calculate the percentage change over time. Let's start by looking at some examples of how this concept is applied in the dashboards. In the CISO dashboard, the period over period time frame is set to month, while the reference date is set to April 1st. This means that for the month of April 2021, there was an increase in total alerts generated of 10% as compared to the previous period, which is the month of March. These two filters only apply to large number widgets with a trending percentage below them. We can also set the time frame to quarters, the reference date to March 1st, 2021. This will show us how selected metrics, such as total number of alerts and policies triggered, have changed from the current business quarter, Q1 of 2021, as compared to the previous quarter, Q4 2020. Similarly, if we set the time frame to weeks, the results will be comparing metrics starting from March 1st to the end of the week, March 7th. From this example, we can see that the current period results will always automatically snap to the most recent closing period. In other words, for week over week analysis, the results will remain the same regardless if we had selected Monday, March 1st, or Sunday, March 7th. This is because both of these dates belong to the same week period. Let's further illustrate this concept with quarters. Results will be the same whether the reference date is set to March 1st or March 25th because regardless of which of these dates we set as the reference date, they're both comparing the current period metrics, Q1 of 2021 that ends on March 31st to that of Q4 2020. In summary, the reference timeframe date defines the unit measurement for the analysis, while the reference date defines the date week, month, or quarter of the current period. You can also put the reference date to a day in the future, and it will automatically snap to today's date. It's handy in dashboards where you always want to compare the previous period to the most current period. Now let's take a look at a step-by-step -step walkthrough of how to build a simple visual representation for this concept. A common use case we often encounter is to show the change in risky applications and the user count between two quarters. We'll start by first selecting the measures that we need to perform the analysis. For this example, we want to be looking at the number of applications, the number of users, and let's also use CCL as a filter since we want to limit our results to risky apps or apps with poor, low, or medium CCL. Then navigate to period over period section and select the reference date and the time frame and use it as filters. Since we're comparing results from Q1 of this year to Q4 of last year, let's set the reference date to March 1st, 2021 and the time frame to quarters. Now navigate down to the event date and change it to any time. Next, still working the period over period section. Bring up the period name dimension to the data field, select the column viz type, and enable value labels. We can now run and view the results. We have the results for both the current quarter and the previous quarter. To reiterate the choice for reference date, you can see that it won't matter if I set the date to March 1st, March 22nd or March 31st, we will get the same results as all three of these dates are pointing to the most recent quarter, which is Q1 2021, ending on March 31st. So all three of these reference dates will work for this example. This concludes the session on period over period analysis. Thank you.